guys, uh, this is Brezny, um from Review My Tech. Uh, I've just received this case, it's the Coolmaster Mastercox Q300L. Uh, I decided to go for this case because it was quite good for the price, I think I paid about £40 for it. Um, it's quite new, I've not seen many reviews for it, so I'll actually unbox this. Uh, We are going to be looking at the new Coolmaster Q300L PC case. It's an entry level PC case by Coolmaster that comes in at around £40. Uh, I think it's slightly cheaper in the US. Um, in terms of the case itself, uh, it's a Micro ATX 4 factor. Um, it's got acrylic at the front and a sheet metal at the back. It's all black, which is a, a lovely uh, design for it. The top panel and the front panel are detachable. They are on magnet magnets so you can take off uh, the front and the, the, the top. Uh, they are designed as fil filters but they have 3D printed uh, designs to them. Uh, I'll try and get a picture if you can't really see it in the video. Uh, in terms of the PC case, uh, it comes with what you can add to it. Uh, you've got one 3.5 millimeter hard drive bay at the back of the case. Uh, I've got two at the front of the case, uh, and then two, sorry, two SSD uh, at the front of, of the case. I believe you can fit a, uh, a liquid cooler. So in this PC, I will be putting in some decent components. I would like to say nothing uh, over the top, but it, it's still going to to be able to perform and play games at most likely 1440p. Um, so. I'll do that in the next video. This one is more focusing on the actual PC case itself. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go and open up the front. Uh, the case itself uh, comes with one fan and, and some accessories included within it. Uh, so let me open this up. So you've got four thumb, thumb, thumb screws uh, at, the, at the front. Um, and the IO shield that you can see here, um, over here. It is detachable, you can put it at the top or you can put it at the bottom. So let me put this aside, that's two of the screws off. Uh, I've got two more to go. Um, and I'll take as many of the parts of the PC case that I can off it. So that's four of the screws off. So this just pops off. Uh, I think it's just being held in by the screws. Uh, it's quite light, but again, the purpose of it is just to so you can see inside the case. Uh, anyone that's doing like an RGB build, it'd be great because you can see all the all the lighting of your fans and so on and so forth. So it does have a hundred and twenty millimeter fan by Coolmaster. I think it's just black. I don't think it has any LEDs in it. But for the purpose of this build, it's it's going to be fine. It's going to be used as extractor. I'm going to have a two forty mil uh, AIO going into the front of it. Uh, I've got that, it's the Coolmaster Master Liquid uh, Light 240. I got that on a, on a deal on Amazon. Um, so I'll take the front and the side of it, so rock the case. So at the back, you've got four thumb screws again holding the, the back panel on together. So uh, I'll take all four off and I'll let you guys see how much space there is at the back of it. So in terms of the actual design, I think it's very simplistic. It's very minimalistic. I guess those are the two words that I would use to, to describe it. There seems to be uh, enough space to access the back of the motherboard uh, once you've installed it, if you're putting on a new cooler or changing anything at the back. The screws are very tight and it's kind of difficult to, to take them off. Let's put a screwdriver 
buffer right here. I'm just going to take that. So four of the thumb screws have plastic, uh, sorry, rubber on them to help you. Obviously, if you're putting the, the case horizontally, uh, it means that there's some sort of padding when you put it down. Um, so that's the back panel often. You put that to the side. So as you can see uh, at the back, uh, I'll take some um, photos in a little bit and I'll add them to the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you can put your hard drive uh, over here. It only has space for one hard drive, but there's plenty of space for routing your cables, doing any cable management at the, at the back end. It's all going to be hidden away. Um, I think there's more than more than adequate space. Just to put into context, if there's enough space for a hard drive to go here, then just puts into context how much space you actually have to work with in terms of doing all your cables, routing them through the back. Um, overall, and um, the case looks really nice. Um, I have no complaints about it. I would have liked to see uh, another hard drive uh, bay, but that's again. Um, in terms of a 3.5 inch, if you're going with SSD, then obviously you, you don't really need it. But in terms of the actual space, there seems to be plenty of space to work with. Uh, the only thing I'm sort of a, a little bit confused about is how I'm going to attach the, the, the AI to the front. And I'm hoping that there's enough clearance for a, a 980 Ti and the radiator and the fans. Um, it looks like I shouldn't have any clearance issues, but um, I'll be able to tell that when, when we actually start making the video, uh, video for the actual PC build. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have anything to, uh, anything that you guys want to see you know, in terms of this channel, please leave a comment. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if there's anything going forward that you want me to, to do with regards to these cases, these builds, or any helps and tips that I can give you guys, then, then let me know and I'll, I'll make that happen. Thank you guys for watching. Um, just to close off everything, this video hasn't been sponsored by Bluemaster uh, by any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is coming out of my own pocket, so I appreciate you guys watching and liking the video. Thank you, and catch you next time.